What's up, y'all? Welcome to a free flow, not free throw, free flow with Mitchell and Tyler. We've come directly from the Hoops and Hops podcast. We've already got a couple of beers in us, Here. and it's time to sh- take a shot to get this shit started, see how fucking wild it gets. And you ready for this, Tyler? I'm, I'm good, man. All right, dude. Down the hatch. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, had some water to follow that up there. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Shot of Morgan. Um, I really didn't want to take it. I was talking to my mom out there, and I was like, I fucking, I hate this. I hate that this is a rule, but it's only the first week, but we're still getting in on it, you know? Let's get it. <laughs> you okay there, bud? You're like not even talking. Uh, uh, I zoned out for a second. That was bad. All right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, last podcast, man. Dude, that was fun. I, I'll was be fun. honest. I think we killed it. Like, yeah, I think like, that was a good one. Not tooting our own horn, like like tooting our own horn, but like not to toot it. Like I, I legitimately, no cap, not fronting for the this podcast. I think it was pretty good. Yeah. No. If if anyone's into uh, basketball, specifically basketball. Yes, that is that's what the hoops, the hoops and hoops and hops stands for. That. The hops stands for beer. We're doing the podcast while we drink some beer. This is free flow, kind of like free throw, you know? So we yep. we take the basketball, like, literation or whatever the fuck you want to call it, but we bring it here because we're just keeping the party going. Like, I've had, I had two beers during the last podcast. We just took a shot. I got another beer open. I'm ready to go get in on this shit. What about you? Dude, I'm ready, man. I'm ready for this one. Uh, this is the one I'm... I'm all obviously excited to talk basketball. This is the one I'm super excited for. It's kind of just, you know, off the cuff. I, stuff we've been seeing, like, stuff that we're interested, that we hope you're interested in. I, I will yeah, say man. that I'm kind of on the same boat there. Like, yeah, I want it. Like, I'm do, I'm learning coding right now. I'm trying to get it so I can do data anal- analytics for some basketball team or something in that way. Like, that dream job in terms of, like, what i do for a career that's yep. what it is and doing the basketball podcast is great for that maybe i'll write some articles on it i don't know but i, I just love basketball all all my heart that yep. said it's the content creation part of it that i really enjoy and that i love making the content and i, I don't want to be stuck in the niche of only doing basketball and so I would love to do more free flow podcast, which is literally the name of this one. You know, it's a fucking perfect yeah. name. Perfect. And shout out to Mitchell's mom. Help this, her. Yeah, dude, she came up. My mom came up with the name. Pretty She's good. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that was a good uh, name. But getting into this one. Is, yeah, let's get it, into it. It is the one I'm looking forward to more because it'll show more of who we are and hopefully people will like us. And if not, they can go fuck themselves. Yeah, pretty much. But, but that's what Anyways. we're here for. So, NBA 2K game you love more than I, but I I love it. But I, I love hate as it. well. Yeah, like, no like, updates. It's not. It's not even a love to hate. It's, it's, it, it's. I hate it. I, I hate it. Like it comes out in what two three weeks? It comes out on September 10th, and today, or technically yesterday for me. All right, is they tweeted out a screenshot of Demar Derozan, Russell Westbrook, Kyle Lowry. And Lonzo Ball. A uh, fun yep. fact: they've tweeted out all of those pictures already, so it wasn't even new content. This game comes out in three and a half weeks, and we have no news for it except for it's going to be bigger, it's going to be better. Like that's all that's yeah. being said. I mean, I, I I think part of it, man, is they really don't have anything to announce. Like they don't have anything to hype. I think the only way you wouldn't announce something, like you wouldn't have any updates. Is if you don't have anything to update, I that that's how I feel. I feel like it's not a good sign. The fact besides that, the sweat, besides the sweat, they are gonna. Have oh yeah, sweat, so. dude, I can't wait to see fucking LeBron dripping, dude. It's gonna get me yeah. so wet. But yeah. it, it's it's kind of scary. It's kind of sad. And the part that frustrates there's, so there's two things that frustrate me. Yeah. One is that I I'm gonna like the trailer is gonna be hype, and like I I just know it's gonna be a banner of a trailer. Like, they, yep. they do a good job of hyping it when they do hype it. Mm-hmm. And so I know it's going to be a good trailer. The second part is, I, I I spent, I didn't get it last year because the last gen version was a copy and paste. So I only got next gen and I was yep. doing 
perfectly fine not spending money on it until you fucking got it, and then I spent like three hundred dollars on it. Well, and I mean, I, you have to remember, I okay, guys, you, you, just for context, <laughs> for context here, Mitchell texts me, "Yo, let's play some 2K." I'm like, "I don't have an X series, I get one." So instead <laughs> of spending seventy dollars on 2K, I spent five hundred and seventy dollars on 2K because I had to also get the Xbox Series X that I wasn't going to get. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's you know, it's it's worth it. I just wish my money wasn't going to fucking 2K. But yeah. it, and the part I wish that, mine wasn't going to EA with Madden, so. Yeah, and the part that pisses me off the most is that I know I'm going to spend another $200 this year. But yeah, like, I am, because we're going to dominate the park. Anyone that's listening to this podcast will get bodied by us. They can catch first day. all that, like, to quote uh, Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson, they can catch all this smoke. Yeah, we're not getting behind this year. No. This, this podcast... Everyone keep, make sure to ask in our comments, make sure to ask every week after the 2K release, we'll definitely do like a 2K release podcast probably maybe before we'll, it releases. Maybe we'll try after. to do a, maybe we'll try to do like a little gameplay, like we'll do some gameplay yeah. with it, cut up some highlights and do, do it like over a, the yeah, podcast. Yeah, a gameplay podcast. Yeah. Keep us in check. Every week we do this podcast. I, I want to see a comment. You guys still playing 2K? Because it's like that meme uh, that's going around right now of like the kids that's like, oh, I'm dropping out of high school to focus on Apex or some shit. Yeah. It's like, I'm dropping out of everything to focus on Call of Duty. I'm about to destroy, or to focus on 2K. I'm about to destroy all these fucking kids that curry slide, that yeah. fucking step back cheese. They do the corner fade cheese. I'm about to yep. break these kids' fucking hearts. Yeah. So, everyone listening, keep us on the 2K grind because we're going to become professional 2k players one way or another we're gonna get paid for it yeah even if it's not for the 2k league because that shit is garbage yeah we're gonna get paid for it and then we're going professional we're gonna go hard and Mm -hmm. so you just keep us in check because we're the greatest 2k players in the world it's undoubted like undefeated truly like dude when we play against people it is so much obvious how much smarter we are that's oh, one dude. thing. It's not, dude. it's not just smarter. It's better. It's, yes. It's cooler. It's better looking. It's true. It's like we touch grass every once in a while and they don't. Yeah. And so keep us on it guys. Cause you know, 2k is not giving us any updates. And honestly, we need you guys to keep us to give you updates on our 2k okay. because and, if not, we won't. And, and so let's get into this next topic. But let's keep it video like we'll start video game related and we'll keep it sports related for right now because I really right, I just want to say I don't want this this isn't going to turn this podcast at least is not going to turn into more basketball talk like no. it's just that this is the first topic we're getting with we have our basketball podcast but the basketball podcast is not video game focused it's yeah the real life NBA basketball maybe Olympic whatever else is going on like draft free agency but it's not 2K yeah. focused and I mean, so that's why this, this is here. Yeah. So yeah, Th- this is not a two K pod or NBA podcast again. This is just everything we like, and two K yeah. just happens to be being released in three and a half weeks, and we like it. Yeah. We're, so we'll, we'll probably we talk love about to hate it, it for the next couple of weeks, but yeah. it, it's not going to be like the only thing we talk about. So with that, let's get into this next one that's also sports related, kind of real quick. And yeah, it doesn't make sense um, to me. So make some sense out of it. All right. It's the games that need a reboot. Okay. And I'll tell you mine, and then you tell me yours. But mine, number one, Time Splitters. Thankfully, we are getting it. There is the Time Splitters Radical that is, or Rewind, that is made by like a third party. They've mm-hmm. gotten a team together. They've been doing it for a couple of years. It's getting closer and closer to re- the release date. And okay. it was announced recently that we are getting a new, like a new one. That okay. uh, Free Radical or whoever is coming together now, and they're making a new one again. So I'm hyped for that. It's probably still a couple years away, but that that one is confirmed to be happening. The next is all of EA Sports Big. And if you don't remember what EA Sports Big is, it's the arcade EA Sports games from like the early 2000s. So oh, NBA okay. Street, NFL Street, FIFA Street, um, Def Jam Vendetta, but I never got into it because it's like boxing and fighting. And yeah. then um, SSX, like SSX Tricky and yep. SSX Three. Those are the games I believe fully need a, a reboot, and mm-hmm. I would, I would cream for. So the games I think would need a reboot. 
You know what's weird? Hmm. Is I feel like I wouldn't want a reboot, right? Like, uh, like I like that Time Splitters is coming out with something new. I don't like remasters. Like when they did the well, whole. I don't, I don't want remasters. Like, cause I'm yeah. not trying to get the same game again. I want. Yeah. Like, like a new, so, they're starting it over. Yeah. So I mean, if I were to say any reboot, this one's gonna be a hot take, and it'll kind of lead into our another topic. Okay, okay. Is uh, I think that Jetpack Call of Duty needs to come back. They're going back to World War II, which pisses me off because it was the most I, boring game I've ever played. I will but, say I wish they got away from World War II because every game is fucking World War II. Like, yeah. For shooters. And, and I really miss Jetpacks. That was some of the most fun I've ever had playing Call of Duty since I was a child. I, I got would, out of Call of Duty as soon as they introduced Jetpacks. Dude, Black it. Ops 3 was my favorite Call of Duty ever made. It wasn't close. It was by far my favorite. Yeah, like, mine's I still would like wake the, up and play it eight hours a day. Mine's still the quote semi OGs, like OG to all the kids that are playing now of like M MW MW two, Black Ops yeah. One, World at War, but like not OG because there's fucking COD one through three before that. Yeah. No. I, I would say Jetpack COD and then Hmm. My other game would probably be I don't know, man, that's a tough one. I think I think a lot of the games that I like right now are games that I used to play, but I wish they would play like their old versions. Like I feel. World of Warcraft, for example. I wish that game would go back to how Burning Crusade or Wrath of Lich King specifically played. Or like Madden 2K. I wish they felt like they used to feel where... You didn't have to spend money. You could progress. Like it wasn't so money focused. Oh, I feel let, like every game is money focused now. But let, let's get into that conversation real quick. I I, I like do that. it. Is the the microtransaction battle pass scene? Yeah. Because he, here's what I'll think. I'll say because I I think this is it's apparently a hot hot take, but I don't think it is. Uh, or I I don't think it's a big deal. Is that in a free to play game? Mm-hmm. Give me battle passes. Give me paid cosmetics. Mm -hmm. Give me all that kind. Of, like, don't I? So I'll flat out say I don't want pay to win. Get that shit out of I here. I agree. Yeah. Like the way Call of Duty does it, where you pay to buy certain fucking guns. Fuck you. You're awful. But like Fortnite, well, you, don't. you don't. You just buy it for uh the preset skins. So like you'll buy a, like a. But aren't there uh, like some that you can buy that you have to buy? Like those no, pistols so that you I can... bought they're 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 uh battle pass guns so you well, have like the, to level it up the blueprint guns though yeah Don't you have to buy are, some of those well if you want the skin yes oh i thought you, but you they come with you like certain get, attachments or whatever can you you can earn them all without you it you can earn them all yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, okay okay the only uh, time they ever did that where you could buy different guns was infinite warfare they did loot crates where you could get yeah, better yeah. guns from loot crates and it was like what okay yeah see that shit needs to stay out but like like people will hate, can hate on this, but the way I think Fortnite does it, the way that Smite does it, I think are the best ways to do this shit. Because it's just it's a free fucking game, or like in the case of Smite, it's thirty dollars and you unlock every single character that's ever come out or that's going to come out, and they always have like deals on it. And you have free battle pa or you have a battle pass that you spend like ten bucks for. You get cosmetics. They're usually kind of like whatever. But mm -hmm. you can also, like, usually it costs $10 for a battle pass. And I think in Fortnite, if you progress through the whole thing, you get, like, 1,200 V-Bucks. So it's, like, $12 yeah, so back. You, so basically like, in Fortnite, you only have to buy one battle pass ever. Yeah, like, if you play it consistently. Yeah. And, and so, yeah. And you get, and, and because it's free, you're supporting the game so that other people can play it without spending money. Like, Dude, and they, I'll the, tell you, the most money I've ever spent on a video game was Fortnite. Same. I think I'm at like two thousand dollars. Yeah, I've I spent more money on Fortnite when it was hot. I don't play it anymore. Game sucks. But when it was hot, I have never spent that much money on a single video game. Not even I've played World of Warcraft, which is a subscription-based game, for twelve like years? years. Yeah, they get twelve, thirteen years. Then you gotta and, be you gotta be past it. You have to be. And I um, honestly don't like think fifteen hundred dollars. I can almost confidently say I've probably spent more on Fortnite. I mean, uh, Fortnite I came out for a good time for both of us, though, where we were both kind of just chilling at home working yep. and, like, had ridiculous disposable income. Yeah, obviously, um, yeah. 
But like, but, like I'll yeah. say is on the other end of that is like I think Valorant skins are way too expensive. Yes. That said, I've spent money in Fortnite, so it's free for other people. People spend money in Valorant, so it's free for me. Like, because I've not spent any money in Valorant. And, like, that's kind of, like, you pick and choose which games you support. Yeah. And, but, like, somebody else is going to pick the game that you want to play. You know? And see, here's the thing with Valorant. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. I think if they labeled, right? So, mm-hmm. like, Fortnite. I, I have a feeling if Fortnite put up a bundle, and it was like, here's a reactive skin for 100 bucks. I'd be like, go fuck yourself. I'm not buying yeah. that skin. The reason I spent so much on Fortnite, I was like, here's the skin for 15 bucks. It, they're t- they're still too bucks. expensive. I will say they're still too expensive. Yes, I think they are. Everything should be five to 10. But, but like, I think I'm if still Valorant switched to that, where they're like, here's two guns for 10 bucks. Here's two I, other guns with the skin for 15 I probably would have spent like a couple hundred and I played exactly. it during beta, beta. And then I didn't touch it again until this current season. So I think Valorant could fix that issue where... It's all about making it, because if you see, hey mom, can I have ten, ten bucks? bucks? Yeah, like it's fine, and you can ask her multiple times, and she doesn't think about it. But if but you if ask you her, to, you're like, mom, can I have a hundred? Like then she's like, you are fucking tripping. And I agree. I think lower amounts more often from more people yep. equates to more money at a higher rate. Like I don't know, because there's people like big streamers yeah, there are people that buy, buy yeah. everything. But like, for me personally, I think if you made, and the, dude, the knife skins, oh my, yeah, I and the fact that you can't fifty bucks, bro, and, and it's not like CS:GO or CS where you can sell that shit, which is like, yeah, at least in CS you can be like, oh, like I can spend money on it, but like their knives worth literally five thousand dollars, and so you're like, I can spend three thousand dollars on this, and if I get this knife, I sell it and I make my money back, and then some. Yeah, like, you and can't so, do that for a game like Valorant. Yeah, microtransactions, I think, are the way to go as long as they're not pay to win. If they're pay to win, you're a garbage and, company. And, I think, and that's the problem with Ultimate Team. And I will, I, I get people's argument against that since we were talking about 2K and. Well, 2K is 100% pay to win. You cannot like convince me. Madden, otherwise. 2K, they need All to the follow sports. the MLB The Show route yeah. where you have a competitive team without spending cash, period. You yeah. shouldn't have to spend money to be competitive. The game should. At the end of the day, be about skill, not how much money is in your bank account. Well, I mean, 2K is a scam. They're literally the people that gave us $70 games for next gen. Like, yeah. thankfully, Xbox has, like, gone the way of being like, no, nah, we're still going to do 60 and we have Game Pass. So, like, shit's super affordable. But, like, Dude. for everybody on the PlayStation, Sony side, like, so, like 2K is the one that fucking initiated that $70 shit. And then Sony's like, hell yeah, dude, more money. Like... Right. And like I, it makes me happy to be on the Xbox slash PC side because I don't have to worry about it. Like this, since the Series X has come out, because of Game Pass and because of like Microsoft, my gaming has been so affordable. Like I've played a right. ridiculous amount of games for next to nothing. Whereas mm-hmm. if I was on the other side, I'd be spending like I'd have to spend three hundred dollars plus to play the games that I've spent like fifty bucks on. Yeah, like. Dude, it's it's crazy. Video games are so much money, and here's here's another example of it. We'll go into this topic because why not? Um, so the COD Champs is coming up. For those of you that don't watch Call of Duty, it's basically their biggest tournament of the year. Well, uh, quick question, quick question: Do they fund that through uh, like paid cosmetics and shit? No, they don't they... crowdfund like Dota does. That's why oh, Dota yeah. gets so much money. But what I will say is. Call of Duty is a $2 million tournament starting Thursday. Yeah. You also have, if you get a perfect bracket, you win, I believe it is $100,000. Is that... check to make sure. Is that for team or per person? Person. No, no, no. So say, no, say you or me make yeah, a yeah. bracket and I say optics can... Oh, okay, guys, I see, I see. Win. Like... Like the NCAA final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll win a hundred grand. Say you just have the best bracket, you win yeah. ten grand. So if you have the best bracket out of everyone, you get ten grand. So my thing is, dude, here's my issue with this Call of Duty champs. Tell me if this sounds messed up, because this is also going to lead into the morals argument we got going. Is so think about it this way: they just had so in Call of Duty season, they have five stages, right? Mm -hmm. so each stage is a major tournament so it's like whatever major tournament so stage four they had 
everyone knows about the COVID shit happening. So in stage four, they had a finally event on land. And if no one knows what that is, if you don't play video games, when you play video games, you get a significant disadvantage due to internet. Yes. So yeah, I mean, if I feel like for me personally, personally at least, Fortnite has been the game that expressed to me how important peen was. Yes. Like I remember playing like Call of Duty, like Modern Warfare, Halo, whatever, and I remember you shoot someone and like you're behind like you get behind cover yeah. and you die and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like my internet's laggy, whatever. But then Fortnite came out and it's all building and shit and you realize that the build like the peen is what interacts or is like the number that puts to why they're taking your walls and you can't defend and like why they can shoot through your walls because the the time between what they see in the server and what you see in the server and like the time that it takes to connect those two are two different things so yeah. like i've learned and i think a lot of gamers have in the last couple of years because of a game like fortnite whereas otherwise you just thought you were laggy but like peen has become like this huge almost like a trigger word these last couple of years right where yeah. you're like, oh, peen's what I need. Like, I don't need 300 down. I need, I need zero peen. And unfortunately, like, I live in Idaho. Fucking, I can't get zero peen. Like, yeah. when we play Valorant, the lowest I get is 50. And that's when you're forced to get, like, 60. 50, yeah. 50, 60. And, like, and so, yeah. So they had stage four. as their first LAN event. So obviously all the players are hyped, right? Yeah. You're finally getting to play on an even playing field. You're not playing a team in Atlanta, and you're in Texas, and they're choosing a New York host. So you're then screwed. You can't yeah, play. and so before you get into it again, like let's explain what like land means in terms of yeah, like so so in land terms of is, peen status basically. Yeah, so a land is an event thrown. So all the teams co collab under one roof, like and in they person together, yes. they're all in the same building. So it's like playing your friend on your TV. You're both yeah. on a level playing field. And your peen is zero because there's yep. no latency between... You're not using an internet connection. Everybody's yeah. connected directly to the source. And so, like, maybe... Like, you're never going to see the number on your screen, but maybe your peen is, like, one or two. Yeah. Like you're not... You're not... You basically, you it's, have it's no input delay. It, yeah, it's... You press it's, a button, you can't it happens notice immediately. It. Yeah. yeah, you don't notice it. And you both it's, see the, the, the... The both parties are seeing the same thing on their screen. Exactly. So you're not... You're not behind I'm cover crouching. yeah and like, they're still shooting you yeah like and so they finally get to it it goes well they have all the covid precautions great right so the next the next event stage five they say all right we're bringing fans so everyone's like cool even more hype so then fans happen blah blah they take zero precautions and then they get freaking covid a bunch of players get covid right yeah so I saw, that event... uh, t the tweet i think you liked it like right before this or something it was talking about like scumping somebody else that, yeah like, tested so negative. huge who huge players scump and envoy on optic gaming one of the biggest gaming organizations in the world they were, they were huge call when of Duty. we when i was like really into call of duty like they were like the biggest one I knew. like they, it was optic yes. and phase. phase phase wasn't even the first one it was optic and um somebody else and then phase came up like end of high school but optic yeah. was like right be beginning of high school phase so was the dudes, wannabe optic back when back in my day these guys gets covid these guys get covid right and they're their two best players and so they have until thursday to test negative right but if anyone knows anything about covid testing some people react differently to tests. so some people can test positive for up to 90 days and so you have this thing where these dudes are about to miss on a out on a two million dollar tournament because they do not because they did their job because the company didn't put precautions in when fans came. Luckily, fortunately, they pa they finally got their negative results today, and they can actually go. They had to delay their flights because everyone's flying out today. They're flying out in a couple days so right before the event and it's just crazy to me that you can take in scump is i think yeah he's still the most followed uh call of duty player i think he's the most followed professional video game player in professional as in like in they, the world they're um they're on a team getting paid to play 
Yeah, like not like Shroud or yeah. yeah. And the dude almost they almost didn't have him because they fucked up at their own tournament. It, it was mind blowing to me. It was actually mind blowing that you could have that big of a tournament and not take any precautions at the tournament three weeks prior. Like, that doesn't even make sense. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty crazy. Like, luckily, they managed to, like, scrape by kind of thing. Yeah. But, I mean, COVID's fucking rough, dude. It sucks because, I mean, I don't want to get into the whole, like, political beliefs yeah. and everything of it. But, I mean, it's just, it's fucking over so many things. And we want to we wanna get back and host real life shit, but then people stress out so much about covid and it's like like can we and not really but it's also like especially in gaming it's like do you want to take any of this seriously if it's not land like, yeah there's i mean and it's so much money on the line yeah and like do you even want to give out max money if people aren't playing quote unquote for real you know yeah but you're like and oh, your well, viewership like, struggles everything yeah. and, people like hearing a crowd roar yeah, so, I mean, it's rough, and, I mean, I don't know the solution because, I mean, you, you get everybody vaxxed, you get everybody wearing masks, and it doesn't necessarily stop the fact that somebody can still test positive, and you're stuck with, like, oh, well, like, he's not contagious, or it's not that bad, and it's like, it, it doesn't matter, like, you gotta treat it the same regardless, basically, if somebody's testing positive. Yep. And it's, like... Is this the new like I don't I really don't want to get into the co whole COVID thing ex even though the n next topic I want to go into is the like COVID related, but like, it's is this the, the the norm for the rest of our lives kind of thing? Yeah, man, it's it's so it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Like, there's no other word to describe it than insane. You have the. NFL making rules against va unvaccinated players. So, you have, so you know. Did, did you see the. I, I imagine the Steelers aren't the only team to do this, but this is the one I saw. Like, did you see what they said? What? So so they were like. So for Heinz Field, and they're doing this at least for the preseason game, but I imagine they're doing it for more. Mm -hmm. um, and they're like, any indoor area. Like, or on the concourse, you have to wear a mask. So, like, if you're at a okay. concession stand, if you're at a bathroom, like, whatever. Like, any outdoor area. And, and the whole stadium is, like, outdoors, basically. Like, I, like it's the yeah. only yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. NFL stadium I've actually been to. Um, but you don't need to wear it if you're in, like, the lower or upper bowl section. So, like, when you're fucking next to somebody, like, body to body, you don't have to wear it. Like, because it's open air. But you have to wear it as soon as you, like, leave your seat. And, like, I guess some people are like, oh, it's, like, it gives the freedom of, like, the option to wear it. You know, like, some people are going to wear it, some people won't. Yeah. But I'm like, what the fuck is the point? Like, if you don't have to wear it when you're around people, like, like, there's, how many people get uh, Heinz Field fit? Like, probably, uh, uh, know. let's see, Heinz Field max capacity. Uh, 68,400. Yeah, so, you know, like, when, when you have 68,000 fucking people standing shoulder to shoulder, like, all of a sudden you don't need it because it's not a dome? Like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. It's just, it's a stupid rule where it's like, I feel like I get that you, that allows them to, quote, get everybody on in there, but it's like, you either wear a mask or you don't at that point. Like, yeah. I'd agree if, with if that. You're, if you're going to enforce it, enforce it to be worn the entire time or just be like, it doesn't fucking matter because at the end of the day, you're going to take it off as soon as you get to your seat and then it doesn't fucking matter. Like, mm -hmm. like that, that's the only thing I really have to say about that because, like I said, I don't want to get into the whole COVID thing. If Yeah, me neither. It's been talked about enough or it's the first episode of a pod, of this pod and it doesn't need to turn into a COVID thing where we all get in, where we all talk about COVID and shit. Yeah, man. I mean, I don't have much to say other than just this shit's nuts, and I can't wait for it to be over. Yeah, but... That's, that's pretty much all I got for it. I mean, fingers crossed it's sooner rather than later, but it doesn't fucking seem like it. Nope. But anyways, uh, let's get into this next topic, which... All right. Um, we're going to keep it with video games for a little bit 
more, and then we'll, we'll get into some non-video game stuff. But this one is... I fully believe, and this isn't me just calling this person out because I like hate them or am calling them out to try to clout chase. It, it truly isn't that. It's mm-hmm. that I think if you put me and Tim the Tatman in 90% mm-hmm. of the games that we play, if you were to clone us and put a full squad of me versus a full squad of him, mm-hmm. I think I'd beat him in 9 games out of 10. Like, I think the one that he definitively beats me in is... Overwatch because I have so little practice and that's like what he got kind of got big on, but and, and maybe Warzone because I'm super out of practice. But I think if you put us in COD, Valorant, Fortnite, Apex, any of those, I think I beat him like a squad full of me. And I I'm trash at Apex, so like he might be able to take that one. But like Fortnite, regular COD, Halo, Valorant, I think I take his ass. Hmm. You know. Hmm. I don't know, man. Tim's pretty good at Valorant and CS. And, and it's not to say that he's not good, because I, I I believe that he's good. It's that he plays with people so much better than him all, all the time that I think they carry him to higher ranks, and it makes him look better. Whereas, okay. it like, not to shit on like you or anybody else, but I think if you put, pair me with the people that are professionals, like the people he's getting paired with, I think they cover for a lot of my fucking mistakes, and then I look pretty good. And I'm gonna oh, yeah, put up I think numbers. A lot of people, I think a lot of people can do that. Yeah. But but that's what I'm saying. Like I'm not saying it's like just me. Like I like, I think Tim is an above average gamer. I don't think he's a professional level level gamer by any means. And I think that in most games, I'm competitive with him. Like that's kind of where where I'm at with it. Well, I think you put me up against Shroud in any game, and I would body his shit. Okay, well, that shit is straight up false. I would slaughter him, and I could slaughter him in CSGO straight up. He would literally close his eyes and doo-doo on you. Like, just saying, we could do a 1v1 shroud if you ever wanted, because I will beat your ass. I mean, he's local to you. He might be able to get on land. Dude, it would not be close. He uses an aimbot if we use uh, regular... No, that's Aiden. That's Aiden, dude. Yeah. Okay, here's a good little... Last video game thing. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. But then, here's a little thing. What do you think about the controller versus keyboard argument? Like where keyboard oh, okay. players I... say controller's broken and then controller players say d- keyboard's broken? I-, I think if you're a fucking keyboard and mouse player saying that, you're a fucking punk. Like, <laughs> you've been talking for years about how keyboard and mouse is better. And then you say... Oh, aim assist is too. It's like okay, so you've had you've been saying this for years, and now they have aim assist, and you all of a sudden say it's better. Like, yeah. the only game where I'll give any sort of feedback or like kickback is Call of Duty because their aim assist is pretty wild. But really, I was gonna say Fortnite. I felt I play controller. Building still on, hard in Fortnite. Like, I play controller on COD. Yeah, and I don't notice. Like, I've played both. And yeah, I haven't yeah. noticed anything insane. I, them, I because, go back and forth, yeah. Because COD, the difference between COD's aim assist and Fortnite's aim assist is Fortnite's aim assist is true aim assist. Well, so it used to are, be wild. Like, because I remember, like, back in uh, Chapter 1, like, the AK was still nasty and there was aim assist. And I was, I literally tried controller for a day. And I was fucking just, like left trigger spamming the fucking ak and i was getting headshots constantly like it's not that bad anymore but it, it was gnarly like my thing is fortnite's was always true aim assist so if your aim was off it would pull you to your target it was actual aim assist or as a lot of people call it aim bot yeah. um cods isn't cod and apex they have the similar aim assist where it is a slowdown so when you get near your target, you slow your aim slows down, so that you don't have to work as hard to track. I mean, so tracking like I I did an aimbot like the aim labs thing. Yeah. And my tracking is god awful on PC. Like, it it really is. Like I can I can flick, I can shoot, but like the tracking, especially in small distances, is. Awful. See, mine's the opposite. I can't really flick, but I can track. If someone's running, I can track them really well. 
What do you, what do you, what's like your sensitivity, like your DPI and shit? Because I, mine was fucking absurdly high. And oh, I, I think mine's lower. like 400, my DPI. See, see, my, and what sensitivity do you usually play out in games? Uh, you... I play really low. So like Valorant, I'll play like a point four. I think. Okay, yeah, you want to, so here, you want to know what I do? What? Like, cause, so you're, you're clearly like a, a an arm person. Like you well, I'm actually arm. wrist. I use mainly my wrist, which is weird. Oh okay, yeah, that is weird because yours is low. Mine, because so, because I'm a clear wrist player. My yeah. DPI, I think it got fucked up when I like re-downloaded the Logitech shit. But it was it was 2400, so I was playing with that for a little bit, and Damn. I was like, what the fuck? But I lowered it down to like what's manageable for me, which is 1200. And wow, I played so I played Valorant at 0.8 sensitivity. Wow, so, that's high. Yeah, no, my fucking shit is re- like I've looked at like pro shit, and it's usually like eight, like eight hundred, and then like four, or it's like eight, uh, four hundred, and then like eight, like point eight. And, yeah, uh, like I'm so high on both ends, and it's all on the wrist, and that's probably part of the reason why my tracking is ass. Yeah, but, because but, when but, like, you make a like little people, movement, it throws your shit for a circle. Yeah, but. I mean, it works. I have, I have a solid KD in most games. Like, I do well, so I, I fucking... Like, I've tried to do wrist, and I have, like, a whole... Like, my mouse pad takes up, like, half my desk, but it I just could never get into the wrist. Now, when I have a kid, you know, I'm going to fucking train them. They're going to be playing yeah. CS or Valorant. I'm going to put yeah. their shit on the low... Either the lowest sensitivity or the highest. So they're either, like... If I have two kids, one's going to be a total wrist player that fucking barely moves his wrist and is flicking on kids... Mm-hmm. And then the other is going to be a total, like, use the full fucking arm. Yeah, we got to see what's better. We got to use our kids to experiment so that they can yeah. be the next Booga, win a world exactly. championship. Exactly. Like, I'm already I'm already washed, you know? I'm fucking 26, almost 27. My Except for in 2K. Me. We're still, we're not even in our prime yet in 2K. True. But that's because it's all fucking, I mean. It's brain power, was, baby. That shit's still stupid, though, because it's all it's fucking random. The, when you get the green releases yeah, and shit. Yeah, it really is. But, all right, let's switch it a little bit away from video games. About yeah, yeah. We, we we were talking about this a couple days ago with viewers donating to big streamers. And this yeah. isn't a hate. Don't worry, guys. We're not hating no, like, on if people. You're, if you're a streamer, if you're a big streamer, get your fucking money. I'm not I'm not mad at all. And it's, I'm not even hating on the donators. Like, it's I, your like, money. Spend it how you want it. But I, we just had the same question that's, how much fucking money do you make <laughs> like, to where you can easily afford to just toss these millionaires like, thousands like, of dollars? So the one that brought up the conversation, brought up the idea, was I was watching a Nick Merckx stream, I think yesterday or the day before. The day before, because he wasn't streaming yesterday. He was playing Apex. It was fucking yeah. like one in the morning, my yeah. time. And he's in Florida, so he's two hours ahead of me. So it's like three Gross. in the morning his time. Gross state. He's playing 17 hours a day. Yeah. And he had 50, 60,000 viewers at three in the morning. Like it's absurd. Yeah. yeah. And, and the dude had almost 70,000 subs. So just off subs, just assuming that you only get the 75% like of the. Yeah. You're, sub, he's making a, 210 and a, grand a month. Minimum. And assuming it's like the lowest. Yeah. It's like 200,000 a month just off subs. Yep. But like he's getting donation money and these dudes were donating him a hundred dollars at a time. And I'm just like. This dude is a millionaire. Like, yeah. quite literally a millionaire. He yeah. has two fucking houses. Like, he built a whole house in Michigan with a bomb-ass fucking studio. And I haven't seen him in it. Like, he's yeah, been I in always Florida. Wondered, I always wondered. <laughs> that was I, always... I, if I could... Nick, if somehow you see this... No, so I... I asked him his, he was on a he was doing a gym stream. And I asked him and he actually responded. I was oh, like, nice. I was like... And not like donating money. I was like, he just saw my comment. I was like, D- why aren't you in like Michigan? Don't you have a fucking house there? And he's like, and it was like middle of summer. He's like, have you seen Florida? It's so much nicer. I'm like, that doesn't answer my fucking question that you put a whole fucking place there. Yeah, and bro. Like, like, like if you're not going crazy. to Michigan in, if you're not living in Michigan in summer, like why the fuck would you live there during winter? Like you yeah. just make this whole house for like it from, he hasn't done a house tour for Michigan or for Florida as far as I'm aware. But, like, it's a nice place, but I'm just like, what the fuck? But, the, again, going back to the conversation, it's like, you have this much money to have these two fucking crazy houses 
one that you're not even at. And somebody's like, ah, I'm going to donate them a, this dude $100 even though he has yeah. 70,000 subs. Like, like, and I know a lot of people like got in this argument like about the ninja thing when ninja yeah. was like going insane and everyone was like, we can support who we want to support. I'm not saying don't support Nick. I'm not, yeah, we're not like, saying I, that. I still think you should subscribe if you like his content. Yeah, like, I still think subscribe, I use, donating I use my him. prime sub on him. Like, yeah, that's like I still I think on. subbing, donating is a great thing. Like, you want to show support for your favorite community, do it. Yeah. But I, it's just a question, like, you must be making stupid I, cash I, I, to be I, able um, to do that. I want to know what they're doing so that yeah. I can get into what they're doing. Yeah, like, I don't exactly. Need, I don't need to play video games for a living. I just want to have enough money or... I want to make enough money so that I can throw it away and give a hundred dollars to somebody yeah. that clearly doesn't need it. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. And like, I get what people say. Well, what if no one, if everyone had that mindset, he wouldn't be rich anymore. It's like, okay, yeah, but we're not but he saying would. don't like, that's, like he wouldn't get the donations, but like if he just had the subs, like he'd still be super rich. And it's like, it's not my job to make him rich. Like, yeah, it, it's, I mean, we, it's what we both said the other day. It's like, I'd rather give... If I'm going to donate money, which I, I am not going to donate fucking money to anybody. Like, I'm sorry, but nobody makes content that good that I'm going to just give you $100 or whatever. Like, I might subscribe yeah. because I want to support you consistently over, like, with a small price. Like, I might do a Patreon or whatever. Yeah, you'd have to do some gnarly, but, dope content that I can't stop watching if I'm going to donate you 100 bucks. Yeah, like... Or you have to be doing like a charity event and i believe in the charity like yeah but true. but aside from that i'm I'm like i'm sorry there's nothing you could do to get uh, like a hundred dollars from me like and, and maybe it's because like i'm poor but fucking, yeah true like i could i even if i i feel like even if i were a millionaire i'd be like you know i mean like if i was if i was worth a million dollars and i made like a million dollars i'd be like why would i i wouldn't be like you know what Nick needs a hundred dollars right now. Like, I'd be like, you don't need this. You have this. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It's dude. I I'm constantly mind blown that it's like it, it it's just it's crazy to me how much money people give to streamers and like I think it's cool, but at the same time, like, damn, dude, what are you doing for work? Yeah, so here, here's the thing, like, because we talked about, like, small streamers and small content creators, and I, I would say, I have two people, two groups, who I would donate, three groups, I would say, I would donate okay. money to, and this is going to kind of be, like, a, a shout-out section, but, like, all these people I, I love, and one is this guy, his name is his name is Johnny Lemons, uh, it's on Twitter, he is a Spotify, he makes music, he streams, um... It's, let me make sure I actually say his name right. J-O-N-N-Y Lemons, L-E-M-O-N-S. Mm -hmm. And he makes music and I fucking, I love his music. He's, he's so good. And like, I met him through my buddy CJ and he, he, he's dope. And he like just moved East coast and he's like a small streamer trying to get his stuff like going to like, he's pursuing content creation. Like he is who I would donate money to. Yeah. Like my uh some of my college friends um nappy and jay they have a podcast it's nappy and jay and like they've started to pop off it's fucking confidence chris on tiktok and he has he's verified on tiktok has like four hundred thousand followers or some shit like that like he's nice he's popping off like i would donate to them because like i believe in that like i enjoy their content and i know them and like same with like johnny like i don't I haven't met him personally but like i know him more the other is like our boys at fucking clueless company like the the podcast on yep. youtube like they're just getting started and just like we are like they're a little bit ahead of us but i mean like not i would I, like i would donate to them like I, i'm not going to donate to anybody I'll, I'll say that right now like this is all like if, hypothetical in, in this world of where mitchell is nice enough to donate these are the people i would donate to but i'm not yeah. nice but like that I would donate to them so that they could get like good mics, good equipment, whatever, whatever. Like, but like, I'm not going to donate to the fucking Nick Merckx who's worth a million dollars. I'm not going to do 
yeah. fucking do Tim the Top Man, who's worth a million. I'm not going to donate. Yeah, to it's like me donating to LeBron James. Like, good it's job, you played a good game of basketball. <laughs> Here's a hundred bucks. I think like, even he would be insulted if I handed him a hundred bucks and was like, "You played well." He'd be like, "What the?" He'd be like, "I don't need this shit." <laughs> yeah, he'd be like, "The fuck? You know how much money I'm worth, thug?" Yeah, he's like, "I, I, go, I don't my bad. need that." So yeah, man. Okay. Here's a he, okay. You put this in the notes, and I'm confused if this will tie in. The right. are morals real? What the hell does so, that mean? So it doesn't tie into this, but it's just shit that I believe and like, like think about. Is okay. that like are morals real? Personally, I don't really think they are. And I don't morals, know what the fuck that means because aren't morals personal? So like, if I say so, morals so are like, real, so so that's kind of my point. Is like morals are. I guess the what I should have been is are morals objectively real, and like is good or evil like objective, mm. and like here's the thing like I don't think it is, like I, I mean, think, I think there would be, you don't think so, murder is bad objectively, so here's the here here's the thing, not really because if you go back oh in, back in the day, fucking like animals murder so that they can survive. Like, Guys, this is him drunk talking. I'm just no. Th- th- this is dead ass <laughs> shit that I believe even when I'm serious, even when I'm sober, is that I like we make up morals because it fits what benefits society. Like to not murder means we have more people so that we can like repopulate, and a lot of it is based on religion. And if you don't have like if religion were to never exist, if these things were to never exist, like what is to stop somebody, like. What is to stop somebody from killing somebody to get what they want or to do the worst possible thing to get what they want? Like, if you don't have a fear, like, we, we've set up consequences for our actions based on what so we you're believe saying, is right. So you're saying if there were no laws, morals wouldn't exist, I'm objectively. Not that, I'm not saying they wouldn't ob- exist, but, like, would we, like... Because because if you were to murder somebody, you would hurt somebody. You know, like you'd hurt somebody yeah. else. Like they'd be yeah. like, "Well, that sucks. You made me feel shitty." But like, if you were to be like, like, but like, is it wrong? Like, is it? Are you? Like, I, I'm fucking. I can't even fucking explain it right now. But like, I don't. Yeah. Uh, I don't think. I think we're told these things, and so we <laughs> choose to believe them. But, like, if you were to kill somebody, like, you just kill somebody, and that's the end of it. If morals aren't real, like, that's. We, we mm. only believe they're real because there's. Partially because we believe there's, like, repercussions in the afterlife. Okay. Like, if there was no heaven or hell, if the only thing that exists. Okay, so here, here's a good way I feel. I feel. If there's no heaven or hell, there's no afterlife, there's only this life. Yeah. It, then our only goal, like the only thing we have to care about is ourself. We don't have to care about anybody else because yeah. we're the end all be all essentially. Okay. So if somebody's trying to do harm to you, why not do harm to them to protect yourself? Like if like you are the most important thing. Okay. Like does that does that make sense? Like like and I, I kind of expected this to be a little like not argumentative, but like disagreement, like because you like you are more religious than I am. Not yeah, that I'm not, I mean, I'm not, re- not that I'm not religious, like I believe in God and everything, but like my I thing just, with it is, I still. So, in your hypothetical, you're saying it is confirmed, like there is no heaven and hell, like it's confirmed, like there's no, it's a, yeah, it's just, a like, fact just, at that point. Like, like just say for argument's sake. That, like, the only life we live, like, the only repercussions we have are the ones that, like, we essentially set for ourselves. Okay. Um. Like, and, and, like, and I, and by that I mean, like, there's not even necessarily jail or anything else. Like, we haven't, like, as a society, we haven't dictated. Okay, like, so here's a good right way, I think, wrong. like, th- that it kind of makes sense to me. So you're basically saying if there were a purge, if there were a purge where anything's allowed, yeah. like, would people act on it? Yeah. Right? That's kind of what you're saying is you think more people than not would act on it in a purge where it's yeah. you have no problem. Yeah, like people would either steal, kill, whatever. Like they do whatever they could to get ahead in that okay. purge kind of thing. I but mean, I for you me. Also, like, you also got to 
realize like I don't think the the highest of people as a yeah. Group. I think for me, I think still it would have to, it would vary. I, I think it's such a weird question to answer because I think it varies person to person. I think you ask someone that's not me, hey, if there was a purge, would you uh, steal something? You know, like there's yeah. a PS5 right there. You can just grab it. Would you grab it? With like no some, repercussions. Either. Yeah. But some like, people would say yes. Some people would say no. Like no, that's like the still someone else. The only repercussion else's. is maybe that yeah. somebody else doesn't get it. But like because there's only one kind of thing. Yeah. I think for me, I think I, I don't know. I still think it would be real. I still think I couldn't do. But like do you like if they were never real kind of thing. Like from the be like we just never set the laws that we kind of agreed upon way back when. Like do you think? Like, I think still, it would. Like, still I still like think that? you'd have. I think I still think you'd have people that are willing to do that and people that are uh, that don't want to. Because I think also, I think mm-hmm. this kind of branches off into like a, a psychological kind of thing. Yeah. I think you have to have a certain psychology that you could take someone's life and feel like, yeah, whatever. Like I feel like I you have to have yeah. a mindset for something like that. Like. I just stole this from this person. Whatever. Like, I feel like you ha- you would have to have a mindset set in that for and, that and to the, still be okay. Even if morals never existed. Yeah. It's, it's, that, that's my only thing is, like, I don't I don't know about the never part, you know? Like, like yeah. in, in today, like, how you feel now about something, like, doesn't necessarily apply to this because it's, like, we've, over generations and generations, like, morals are ingrained in us whether or not yeah like we exactly like, it's, like it's hard to to it's hard it's to like it's never existed from the beginning of time kind of thing. yeah it's really hard for me to get in that mindset because i'm also thinking like myself like would i no but like but, if you never knew this yeah like, would if you? i never like, knew it I that's it's such like a hard can, question to answer yeah i mean maybe we'll have to get steven on the pot at some point because he got that psych degree and we'll yeah, just have dude. to ask him about him but I mean, he's he's not my first guest. Like, not to shit on him, but like, I want to get Matt on it, and and I feel like if we get anybody on it, we need to get him on both. You know, dude. Yeah. Like, because because the thing is, like, this podcast is about like the everything. Yeah, and it's the free flow. Like, we're we're already a little bit like we've had a little bit to drink. We started this the episode with a, a shot, and then we get into it more. But like, we yeah. get into the more like quote serious stuff or whatever. Yeah, and, and so if somebody just comes in for this part, it's like you you haven't even you didn't get the two beers to get yourself going. Like you're just taking a True. shot, or whatever. Like you, you kind of got to be with it for the whole time. And like he doesn't or you know just that much smoke about some weed. Yeah, like he doesn't know that much about basketball. But I mean, like we got to be like, yo, you got to catch up to us and take like a shot and have a beer before you get on with us. But who? Cause, like, Steven? Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, or, I was like, Matt knows a lot about basketball. No, 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 no. But, like, for Steven or Chris. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, like, so, like, here's my, like, I'll just say it in the pod because, like, I don't, I feel like this is, it's out there for everybody. Um, Here's the order of people that I would like to get. And Matt and Chris are interchangeable for one and two. Yeah. Um. But I want them to be, like, the first two, basically. I, I would think love Chris, Matt to be on. I wanted to get him on the first episode. I thought that would have been a banger. I, and the thing, like, I want, to, I want to, but I also don't want it to be like, oh, this is what we're expecting every week. Now, if we do yeah. it on, like, the second week, and then people are like, oh, yo, this shit, like, this pops, then maybe we can k- get them continuously. Yeah. But, like, I, I want to start with the group that, like, I know, and also, like, no offense to either of you, but like I, you, your guys' basketball stuff is a lot of is very similar, and True. so I'm not trying to have a one on two debate every time. True. Like, so it, I'm trying to keep it fair for me. Yeah. Um, you got to. But you lose way too many. It'd just be obnoxious. I'd yell. <laughs> but, like, um, but I want to get you two on the first two. I want to get Jet on the third one because I know there's a good conversation there, you, and you know what it is, like fucking there's a couple good conversations with jet on this episode on this part like this podcast um and then i want to get steven on like the fourth one probably yeah i mean i'm down dude i I think it'd be fun i don't know when we're gonna record this next one 
but it's gonna be a banger when when yeah. Matt's on it, guys. That next episode, it's gonna be a banger. Like, and, and like not to not to talk favorites and shit, but I know that Jet one's gonna be fucking funny. Like just because I know the situation. Oh <laughs> man, that would be a funny one. Um. All right, and so I think your last thing was this. The, Two this, bears, one cape, a secret. Uh, what? So, I so you know the? It. Do you know the? Uh, you don't have to listen to it. I'm gonna explain it. So, but do you know the Two Bears, One Cave podcast? Yeah, that's Bert Kreischer and uh, Bert Kreischer and Tom Kreischer. Yeah. Close enough. He gets called. He got called Brent Kreischer or something by yeah. fucking uh, fam- uh, Darren Sharp or something. Yeah, they're something. funny. I've watched them yeah. on like Hot Ones and stuff. They're funny. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they were talking about secrets, and right. um, Bert can't keep a fucking secret. Like he will Me spill either. it to anybody. I know you can't, and yeah. he'll he'll tell it to anybody. And his reasoning was that he believes that a secret is only as important as his relationship with the person, so as a person sharing it. So like, if he values somebody like the person telling the secret less than he values the person he's telling the secret to he'll yeah. tell them so like for if i'm taking you for example if mm-hmm. i were to tell you something mm-hmm. like you're gonna tell your wife you yeah. know and but like if fucking your wife tells you something you're, you're not necessarily gonna tell anybody um debatable yeah i know <laughs> it depends on who it is and what it yeah. is if the secret's yeah. serious then yeah i'm not yeah. telling but, well, I mean, but that's I what i mean that's my like, thing I, I i would agree with that to an extent where is my thing is like say like you said something like Tyler I f- I murdered someone I, I mean, wouldn't tell my wife yeah, because at like, that point I'd be like okay this one's serious yeah I can't but say and shit. That, that and all and I'll I guess we should say that but like there are levels to secrets yeah there are levels and, and to like, secrets like the the highest of level is a level that will never be told to anybody yeah. okay because yes. because it, it is that. I killed somebody shit yeah. and you're like the only person I'm going to tell is somebody who I know can help me get out of this situation. Yeah. Like I'm not going to tell anybody cause they might tell the wrong fucking person. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. I agree there. I think but, there are, I'd agree with that though. Yeah. So if like, and, say like you told me like, dude, I cheated on my girlfriend. I'm not going to tell my buddies cause it's still serious. It's in like a yeah. semi serious, almost don't tell anyone, but I'd still tell my wife. Exactly. Like, oh my God! What happened and, with Mitchell? I'd be like, "Oh, he cheated." Like yeah. I was like, and because I know she won't tell anyone. Exactly. So, and, and so and so okay. So that's perfect. So um, so Tom like who and they're best friends. Like like to yeah. give context to this. Like I'm sure a lot of people know that. But like they're best friends. So like Tom Bert tells Tom and his wife like everything. Yeah. But Tom was like like his opinion was like he thinks it's kind of shitty, but he's like people share their secrets because they want the attention for okay. the secret. Yeah. And, and I kind of agree with that sometimes, but I I, I, like not yeah. for me because, yeah. because so like for me personally, like yeah. all share secrets, but it's only with people who were never going to find out. Like, yeah, like it's completely different groups. Like I'll share secrets from like California people with my Austin people or like, I'll share secrets with my friends and my coworkers. Like I'll share secrets about my friends with my coworkers and my coworkers about my friends, mm-hmm. but n- like they have no context of who you are. And like yeah. I don't it's not even like I add most of these people on social media. So it's like like my coworkers on from my last job work at HEB and I have them on Snapchat. That's the yeah. only place I have them. I don't have them on it. Facebook, I don't have them on Instagram. Mm-hmm. So they have no way of knowing like who I'm talking about when I say this other stuff. Okay. And and so it's like, if I share secrets about whoever to them, like they don't fucking know. And if I share secrets about them to you guys, like you have no way of knowing, like you're never going to connect. And so I'm like, it's two completely different worlds kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think for me personally, it's like a levels thing. It's Mm -hmm. like a, and yeah, it also is like how good of a friend you are to me. If it's like a yeah. dude like I just met last week and he's like, yo, bro, I got to tell you something. I mean, I'll fucking all, share that yeah, shit with everybody. Yeah, I'm going to tell all my <laughs> buddies because I don't really give a fuck. Like, yeah. 
Like, like, I don't know, I don't know you, like, and if it's funny, like, dude, I shit my pants the other day at Wendy's, don't tell anyone, I'm like, um, yeah, good luck, yeah. not getting me to tell anyone, I'll, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go in my Discord and tell I'm all my about, homies. I'm about to tweet this shit. Yeah, like, <laughs> but if it's like, you know, if it's like you or Matt, and you guys tell yeah. me something serious, like, fuck, bro, like, I don't, I don't know, like, I'm in fucking trouble, or I'm fucking broke, or, you know, yeah, like, like, shit like, like that, serious. it's like, it's like, okay, I'll only tell pretty much my wife like i, I don't even think yeah. like if matt told me a secret he was like don't tell anyone i'd tell my wife but i wouldn't tell you but if you were yeah. like yo tyler don't tell anyone i'd tell my wife but i wouldn't tell matt yeah and, like, and it's also it's like it's here's the other thing I, I the other way i see it is positive versus negative secrets true yeah like if, if there's like, like a like for the podcast for example if i was like if you were like dude i think i locked a, uh, i locked up a sponsor don't tell anyone like yeah it's like, okay, I'm going to tell Matt, I'm going to tell Caprice, because yeah. it's a good thing, and I know they'll keep it under wraps for our, yeah. our sake. And, well, and it's also, like, the, to, like, expand upon it, it's like, like, I'm not close with either of them, but, like, say we had, like, you and I, like, we have mutual friends, but, like, yeah. you're way closer with Matt than I am, um, but, like, say you share, like, a mutual friend, and I'm like, oh my god, like, I just got this job opportunity, Mm-hmm. like i know it's their thing to share but it's like if i just found out about it i'm like yo this is fucking dope like i want to talk about it like and it's not because yeah. i want attention it's because like it's just something interesting that i found out and i want to prop up like my homie yeah like but, if you like, got, yeah but like when you i tell them analysis job and be like yo yeah i'm telling like, everyone what the hell this is dope but but like when i tell the other person i'm like if they tell you when they tell you act surprised yeah like obviously like, like, don't, like, make sure that they feel like you, this is the first time you're hearing it. Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah, I'm completely in agreement with that. Like, I'd be like, say for whatever reason, this isn't going to happen. Um, But Caprice gets pregnant. My wife yeah, gets yeah. pregnant. And we go, and I go, yo, Mitchell, like, we're pregnant. Yeah. Don't tell, don't tell shit. Don't say yeah. anything. Like, I'd tell, like, you, I'd tell, like, Matt, my brother, obviously, I'd be like, yeah. yo, just don't say shit. Like, and it's like... I'll tell you right now, I'm not gonna tell Jet, but I might tell Steven it, or Noah. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like, and then if I tell them, and they act surprised, it's like, it's like, whatever. Even if I found out you told them, it's like, whatever, it's cool. Like, you know, yeah, it's not you... like something you'd be mad about where if I was like, yo, Mitchell, Caprice and I are, like, getting a divorce. Don't tell anyone. Then if I found out, like... Yeah, yeah I was like, like, yo, Steven, like, I've just been in. He's like, yeah, man, I hope you, everything's good with the divorce. I'm like, the fuck, Mitchell? Yeah, like, why do you, why do you know this <laughs> shitty thing yeah. going on? Like, yeah, I'd be like, what the hell? But, like, yeah, po- I think, uh, th- yeah, I'd agree with that. Positive and negative secrets are completely different. Like, it's like, oh, okay, you know, but I still want to tell you, and it's fine that you know, because it's something cool. But if it's, yeah, like, but- something fucked, I'm like, all right, you're a dick for saying that. Like, like you, and, and that's the thing, like, because I personally, I don't have a ton of secrets. Me neither. I usually like, tell everyone everything. Yeah, exactly. Like, I tweet everything. I fucking tell everybody everything. Like, there's very few, like, I don't think, there's probably, like, one or two secrets that I have from everybody, and those don't get told to anybody, because I don't trust anybody like that. <laughs> but then, like, the rest of them, like, any other secret I might have, it's a secret from one person, and so I just don't tell whoever might tell them. Yeah. Like, because cause I just, I don't believe in privacy like that, okay. where, like, if I say something, that it's not going to get out there. And so it's like, if I come on a podcast, I'm like, I'm just saying shit that I'm already, I've said before or whatever. Like, I'm not going to say, like, wild boy shit. Yeah. I'm, but a, like, I'm a pretty open. I'm a pretty open book. I don't really have yeah. many secrets. Like it's not like yeah. you'd meet me in person. And be like wow, you're so different. It's like oh and, okay. I mean we can we can get into that too for a minute. Is like I feel like I'm one of the few people that doesn't change. A, you do hundred percent. No way. What? <laughs> <laughs> There's no, no shot. No. No. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like I feel like. No, I feel like if my if you or like Steven and I haven't even seen you in like years, but like if you or Steven or like my Arizona friends were to meet and like even my Austin friends, I feel like if you all were to meet and like without me and sh- just 
like talk about me, you would all be like, oh, like nothing anybody would say would sound out of character for anything I've done. Yeah, no, me and Baker were talking about you when I saw him at the driving range with Matt. And it was yeah. like, yeah. Oh, but you heard like, that too? Yeah, me too. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, like I feel like I'm consistent with everybody who I, I hang out with. And I don't think that's a lot of people. And that's like, another thing about people that tell secrets. This is a shout out to all you weirdos that tell secrets to different people. Bro, what the fuck do you think they they have to talk about Like when you're not in the room? And like, yeah. say, person A knows something person B doesn't know, while person B knows something person A doesn't know. Like, you know how fucking weird that is? Like, especially like, yo, this is my best friend uh, uh, Betty, and this is my best friend Julia. Um, go ahead, and like, you know, they're like, Betty's like, oh, did you hear? Like, uh, like, they did this, and then, like, oh my god, no, but did you hear they did this? And say, like, oh, fuck, there go your secrets. Like, that's it's so hard to keep up with people that do that it's like i don't know what to talk about because i don't know what you know that if i know that you know that i know that that happened yeah it, it i mean that's the thing it's like you just kind of talk with people like i don't i just like, don't have anything to hide really i think exactly. that's my thing is like i'm very like open about my life like people know my yeah. struggles and we'll get into that on a different pod but you know, people know, like, shit that's happened to me and my family and stuff like that in my life. So it's easy to say, oh, you, uh, how's, like, how's your mom doing? I'm like, oh, yeah, she's good, blah, blah, And it's like, I don't have to hide that. It's like, it's not like my other buddies be like, what do you mean? What happened? And it's like, yeah. oh, oh, shoot, I forgot. I wasn't telling you. It's like, it's just so weird to me. It, well, and that's the thing, too. Like, like I said, there, there's a couple people that I don't tell everything to. Yeah. But I, I usually, I keep track of it so that nobody else has to. Like, I'm not going to tell you something and then be like, oh, I hope he doesn't tell Matt. Like, if I don't want Matt to know something, like, I'm not going to tell Matt. Like, I'm not going to tell you or Matt. Yeah. Like, like and there's nothing I don't want to tell Matt. Like, it, it's just an example because yeah. I have fucking literally zero problems with him. He's the first, he's the, he's the <laughs> second oldest, like, longest friend that I've had outside of Dimitri. Like... True. Uh, or third, I guess, because Baker's like, um, fucking two hours before him. I already know <laughs> Baker's gonna. I already know Baker's gonna watch this too, and he's like, Mitchell didn't even mention me. Uh, but that's why I did, you know. Yeah, he'll like pause <laughs> it at that point and text you like, "What the hell?" And then you like literally listen to the next three seconds. Yeah. Um. Uh, but like, like that's the thing. Like, if I don't want somebody to find out i'm just not going to tell anybody around it but like i for the most part i don't care and so it's like you're you can all know everything because i'm me like i'm yeah and that's my that's my other thing like graze upon this topic is if i meet someone mm -hmm. like even if it's a girl like say i was single if i meet someone or a girl or whatever i hate the fact that so many people just try and like wear that mask or just lie Um, yeah about who they are and then you meet them like you meet them everything's going good and then like you go to their house right and their dad's like a fucking psycho or something or like you know their brother's a psycho or their friend is like, like or their mom's a racist like you know yeah like they're like or the, <laughs> yeah yeah pretty much and or you're like or like their friends like a serial killer or yeah shit. yeah like, and you're like bro i don't even know who the fuck you are like i'd yeah. rather just be up front like, hey, yo, I'm Tyler. My life's fucked up. How are you? That way, yeah. when you, like, get to know me more, you're not like, oh, my God, really? Oh, oh, no, that's red flags. Like, I'll give you the red flags up front. Here are the red flags. Do you like them or not? If not, that's cool. Yeah, like, are they too red for you? And Yeah. That, that's why I try to tell girls, I'm like, I'm red, green, colorblind, dude. I can't tell what's a red flag <laughs> or a green flag. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, man. I It's... Man, both podcasts tonight have been bangers. Straight yeah, bangers. I, I will say, I will say, and I hope people are still around as we're wrapping this up. Yeah. But I, I think on this podcast, we flipped this shit. Like, I know we kind of went from the, like, because we go from the basketball to this, and it, like, for us, it segues better. Like, mm-hmm. the going from basketball to, like, basketball video games to video games to whatever. Yeah. I feel like, and hopefully the comments can like guide us here. Yeah, but help us out a little bit. But I feel like if we start with the banners of 
like our morals real are like talking about secrets like we talk about more personal shit like that i feel like that's a better open to the podcast than getting starting with like kind of nerd shit you know because because like morals and secrets are way like everybody's got an opinion and thinks about that shit true as opposed to the other yeah dude i'm down this this i hope i hope whoever's listening even if it's just our friends yeah i hope you just, guys like, keep listening because this podcast and hoops and hops has been fun as fuck it, it's and, been a solid like three hours like and i'm like, glad and by solid i mean like a good time and i'm glad that i can do this with mitchell because me and this motherfucker text paragraphs every day Literally, and, and like, like half of it's about the shit that we're fucking talking about <laughs> yeah. right now. So it's if we're it's like, so dude, let's easy. just start a podcast because this shit's too fun, man. Like, we, you guys might honestly get lucky and just get hit with like multiple podcasts a week sometimes. I know, like we're, like, we're good, like the goals, going like the goals to do two, but like it might just be where like it could like relatively easily be where we just fucking talk and bust out fucking four or five a week. Like, yeah. cause you and, guys are getting our raw conversation. Just FYI. And, and, and here's the thing that like, I know Tyler knows this and like people that know me know this, but like if anybody's listening, doesn't like, I love to talk, dude. Same. I will fucking talk yeah. so much. Yeah. Mitchell like, like it's almost, everyone that's going to listen to this knows that about me. So yeah, it's, it's almost like I don't, it's trying not to talk too much so that Tyler can't talk because I will talk like, like, I think we're I have, good at interrupting each other because we both yeah. want to talk so bad. So we'll just <laughs> cut each other off. And be like, oh, my bad. What were you saying? And like, we'll just keep but, it going. <laughs> but but we also are able to both allow the other person to talk because we kind of realize that our points are like about over and we're just going to start repeating ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have like I did last year a series of like probably basically like 12, like eight to 12 podcasts like by myself where I talked for 20 minutes and I felt like I was talking too yeah, fast. Those, those were lit. And like, I want to go back to them or I wanted to go back to them, but that's essentially what we're doing with the basketball. So I don't have to do it myself. Yeah. Like, now it's more fun. Exactly. And we've and, been, uh, we've been talking about longer. this podcast for, we've been talking about doing a podcast together. You guys for like two years, literally two and, years. Uh, and it just fucking life is lining up and <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest it's that clueless company podcast that makes me want to fucking pursue this shit because i can't i can't let my friends beat me <laughs> like, True, we're too competitive and yeah it, what's funny is people are gonna be like oh man they must be tuckered out after this these podcasts we're probably gonna Bro. literally go play video games right after this podcast and just keep talking for like hours I'll be honest, I could record another one right fucking Dude, now, I, but could, I, I could literally go into Discord and be like, yo, Matt, let's record next, like, the, later this week's podcast. Let, let's and, record a fucking 1.5, and we're going to put it out on Friday. <laughs> right, dude? I would be so down. Oh, my God, because I literally, I feel like throughout talking through, I feel like free, th- free flow is going to be the, lo- like, we're going to have some, like, episodes, like, especially when we get, like, Matt and, oh, like, Chris dude. that are just going to be, like, two hour long movies like dude especially like not not to discount matt because i think matt and you and me we line up a lot more in, like in terms of interest and shit mm-hmm. and, and so like it we can kind of keep it concise but like with chris like he's into fucking gnarly shit like i don't know if you listened to one of the podcasts but he was talking about like salt and fucking cooking like he's into cook like i i cook yeah i've heard some of that yeah to. but he was like he went on this fucking like half hour tangent in that and I was like, fucking, that was the most interesting part of that podcast to me. Because Dude, I fucking yeah. have, like, the rest of it, I kind of know what they're talking about. That, I have no idea. Yep. And so I was like, hell yeah. And, like, and I love Chris for shit like that because it's just so different than anybody I know. Oh, yeah, and, dude. And I'm so, excited. Like, he'll be on and we'll just be, I'll be like, I don't even fucking know what to talk because, like, we're just in a fucking groove. Bro, yeah. I'm excited that, like. The more we do this, like, hopefully it gets a little bit bigger so that we can just get more random people on. Like, people that see oh, shit dude. differently and just be like, yo, do you want to just talk about it on the podcast? Like, that would be dope. I, like, I have people that are like, I completely disagree with both of you idiots. I'm like, all right, cool. Let's talk I would about love, it. That'd be fun. I would love to do, like, these two podcasts that like, we do Hoops and Hops, just for example, release on, like, a t- uh, Monday. And then this releases on, like, a Thursday. Like, we'll talk about it after. 
but then True. do like a podcast like once a week that was just guests like like a third podcast a week but that it was literally we just shoot the shit with a guest and we talk about whatever i'm fucking like, down let's get matt right now like the only <laughs> thing with that is that like i know matt fits perfectly into the two that we have true like and and i want to be able to put out consistent content you know um as in, like, being able to put out next week's content and of shit course, like that. Of course, yeah. I don't want to get burnt out. This shit's yeah. too fun. But, like, with random people, you know, like, I, like if we were to get big enough and do just, like, random people or do whoever, like, I would love to have, like, just a podcast where, like, we don't put this on the fucking normal podcast. We just do, like, or or if people if we can get people to listen to, like, another hour and a half, we just throw it on, on top of, like, this podcast. Yeah, dude. That like, would be... Where fun. we just connect the two. Like, I feel like it'd be better to make a third one as opposed to, like, add it on top of this. Mm-hmm. But if we, we were to just, like, be like, here's a third podcast. This is our guest podcast. And we don't do this every every week because, like, Matt fits perfectly into the structure we have. Like, Chris fits into the structure of at least the second one. Like, Steven and Jet fit into the structure of the second one. But, like, anybody beyond them, they fucking, like, we just do a podcast of whoever the fuck yeah like and we just we don't even know what we're getting into like and and i even saw like a website like i mean at this point we should probably like just end the podcast and talk about this off (laughs) pod but like (laughs) but like i saw a place where there's like collabs with like random people and it's like that'd be that'd be lit and fucking and as much as like i said we talked about it off pod like this just is the ending to the pod, and we're like, yo, fucking collab with us. Like, we, we want yeah, to talk dude. with random fucking people. I'm like, super down. We, you have a beer before you get on the fucking podcast. Yeah, you have to. Before you fucking talk to us. Yeah. And then you take a shot weed. with us. Yeah. And then you have another beer while we're having the podcast. Yeah. Like, because you, you don't have to be a super alcohol. Cause I've we got to have this, you I've, loosened up. We can't have yeah, like, people being like, rigid I've, on here. I, I'm I'm finishing my fourth beer right now. I had the shot, and so like I'm fucking flowing right now. But like, for anybody else to come to start, we need to get a beer and a shot, and then they start their second beer, at yeah. minimum. They gotta not be rigid. We can't have. We're not. We're not trying to deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. We need you to be chilling. And like I know people can do it without, but like nah. Like I'm trying to get you open out, get you loose, fucking like really get into whatever because like i said like the first couple topics were all like shit we're into but that the secret and the morals thing i think is like i think those are the conversations that build this podcast Mm -hmm. and like and now that like we've done this first week's worth of mostly topics like i've come up with like like you you gave your stuff on like when they fit in and everything but I think I feel like you're gonna be thinking about those kind of topics, like for the next podcast now. Oh yeah, because you because you're already like oh like this is the kind of stuff that we're doing. Yeah. And so like boom, then there we go, and we come in with like perfect shit. This kind of stuff is gonna be this this podcast is gonna be banging, boys. Yeah. Just like this is honest. just the first week, and the first like the first one was just over an hour. This one's under an hour thirty, so they're fucking digestible. You just listen to them on your way to work. Yeah. On your way home, fucking walking your dog. Like you don't have an excuse. Like I'm not, I mean you're some falling of you, asleep. You uh, motherfuckers uh, are scrolling through Instagram, listen to the podcast. Yeah, like if you're not listening to music, if you're not on a YouTube fucking video, because like YouTube is how some podcasts are and you gotta have the app open. Nah, this shit's about to be on Spotify, this is about to be on Apple Podcasts. Like you don't have an excuse to not have this shit open. Mm-hmm. You can play Raid, Shadow Legends oh, Jesus while having Christ. this podcast open. <laughs> Alright, guys, that was a good podcast. It's nice seeing you. Uh, we are not sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, nor do we condone any Raid Shadow Legends playing. Yo, but we podcast. could be, and then oh we could be God. the fucking next ninja. Let's go. Oh, you guys. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. He's drunk. Mm. Really drunk now. He's bringing I'm up Raid Shadow Legends. I'm about to... Greatest be game like, ever. Be like, yo, guys, if you want to play old school RuneScape, be sure to use our code. Yo, play Hearthstone. Hashtag me to Tyler. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> me to Tyler in the creator store on Epic.com. Let's go. True. Actually do it. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, man, I think that's a good point to end it on. Let's just get yeah. out of here. and then Let's get the fuck out. We'll just... We'll see you guys next time. I don't know when we're gonna do mm. it next time. I gu- I guarantee it'll be. We'll, it'll be soon. Yeah, I mean the 
release of the hoops and hops and the free flow will be a week after these come out. The only thing is, I don't know when these come out. So yeah, what like if this comes out on like right to, like I'll even date this shit. We're not supposed to, but like this is the seventeenth. Say mm-hmm. this shit comes out because like we have two podcasts, and I'm not. It's technically to... the eighteenth, guys. We're up yeah. at late night hours. No, no, no. It's the seventeenth because it's already past midnight. So oh, like, wait, say, yeah, so say the hoops and hops comes out the twenty third. This comes out the twenty sixth. If this comes out the twenty sixth, part two will come out on the second. Like that. That's the kind of track record we're going for. Yeah. Like, so it might be a week and a half before you hear the second episode of this, but that doesn't mean that shit's not coming. It doesn't mean like you're gonna be hearing it on a normal schedule, and we're just ahead of you. So yeah, we'll we'll try to figure out clips. We'll try to figure out fucking maybe TikToks for this. We'll try to make it interesting, get more people to listen. Yeah, Mitchell's a TikTok soul. star, so you guys are fast, set. dude. I got my fucking connects. But I got to pee, dude, so... All right. Let's finish Well, thanks this. for joining us, boys, for our little free-flowing conversation. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. We asked a lot of questions. We talked about a lot of shit. Well, what, what's, a you... good, what's a good fucking question to end it on that's, like, last one? Like, if you're still here, you got to type something. Yeah. So if you're still here, next week, give us one topic to talk about with Matt. Okay. Or Chris, either one, but one topic that has nothing to do with what we talked about today. That way, we'll yeah. know you were listening. So we want one topic. No two K, no video games, no, no yeah, fucking no video secrets, games. no morals. Let's yeah, like, just give just us the us, us a some good, shit. Give us an icebreaker. We'll do it at the start of the next podcast, and we'll make this a thing on this. You guys give us questions. We will answer it. That way you're a part of the podcast. And don't worry, if you comment and we don't do your question next week, it could still be a question for the other week if we like it. Facts, we'll keep it we'll keep it we'll keep a tally. Hey, who knows? Maybe we'll take a picture and upload a tally of all the fucking questions we've been asked in a in a little while. We'll just keep record of them. That way you guys can think that you're being fucking noticed, even if you aren't being heard. Exactly. So make sure to follow us on Twitter. Mine is muted Tyler with two R's at the end. Mine is Mitchell Rossman, M-I-T-C-H-E-L-L-R-O-S-S-M-A-N. And And be sure to uh, keep the beers flowing. And I love you. Bye. Bye.